Women of CTV with Adam Hinchwood looking ahead to St Albans at home in the National League South. Adam, uh, just reflecting on last weekend at Tunbridge, first defeat in a little while. How are you looking to bounce back from that one? No, yeah, I mean, there's still like lots of positive. Um, I think if you take the stats from the game, um, you know we got into their final third on a lot of occasions. Um, I think we had 18 crosses and only successful with like two of them. So that's a, definitely an area that we can improve on. Um, so yeah, although I didn't think we was at our, our fluent best, um, we still got the ball into their area uh, numerous occasions. I think we only sort of had three shots on target and they had three shots on target. Um, so yeah, like I say, the game could have gone either way. We're disappointed with how we played, especially second half. We didn't really get our foot on the game and first 20 minutes it almost like we was waiting for them to score to give us a G up. Um, so yeah, disappointed with that. So yeah, looking to bounce back and um, get back and resemble us a little bit more in terms of you know playing with a bit more purpose. And uh, um, yeah, I thought our passes, um, there was a lot of passes that got made and there wasn't much options for the when the person got the ball. So definitely loads for us to look at and improve on. Um, yeah, try and try and do that tonight in training and like I say, just, um, get back to what we was doing um, on Saturday. Big test as well for Saturday. St Albans is another team that's competing up towards the top of the table. Been a little while since we played them last as well. It was a uh, Lewis White wonder goal, wasn't it? A uh, late, late winner last time we played them. What are you expecting from St Albans this time around and are you expecting a similar test to last weekend? Um, yeah, probably slightly uh, similar in terms of uh, you know, St Albans have been playing with the three at the back and um, you know, it's a bit more expensive in terms of their game. They try and try and play a little bit as well. So I think it'll be a good, good footballing game. Um, so yeah, it'll be real, real sort of tough test. Um, you know, one or one or two areas that we feel we will need to get the ball to, and we need players perform a little bit better than we were last week. And you know, that's sort of my job to to get out of them and and get us to find in those those um, um players and and see where we can expose them a little bit. But yeah, it'll be a real, real tough game, like you say. They've got um, good good firepower up top there. Um, good, good solid back line. So it's a, a tough game for us, but um, yeah, one that we want to sort of put on a show and, and, and show, show what we're about at home again. And uh, looking at the squads, who do you reckon is going to be available and who do you think might be out? Um, Joe Rye is still going to be missing, I think. He's not on training tonight. Um, but yeah, we're hope, hopeful um, Mo Dabra will be back with us now um, after joining to the end of the season. So that's a real bonus. Um, Liam Vincent should be fit. Cam Touch should be fit. Um, Ruben should be over his illness now. So he should be in a better place. So yeah, we've got um, a few more options and it's good to have a couple more left footed options as well on the pitch. And with all those options, there is one leaving Callum Keeley um, to complete the move to Haven and Waterlooville today. Just a few words on Callum, how do you feel about the move and um, just reflect on Callum uh, and his role at the club over the last few years? Oh yeah, I totally understand um, where Callum's coming from um, in terms of you know the, the training, three mornings a week, um, you know, probably a, a better salary for him. Uh, it's a two year contract, um, something that you know, we're probably not in a position to offer at this sort of stage. So yeah, just wish him all the very best really. Um, Apart from when having come play here, but you know nothing but but uh, admiration for the performance and and the lad that that Cal is. Um, so yeah, obviously a bit disappointed to be losing um, a player of Cal's ability, but wish him not to say it's football. Wish him nothing but uh, the best in in his new move.